Hello guys and welcome to windowsreport.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the faulty hardware corrupted page error on Windows 10. This is a very popular BSOD error that can occur on Windows 10, most likely when you have some software issues in your Windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few solutions that you can try to do and hopefully fix this problem. <music> Firstly, I'm going to show you how to update Windows. It's very important to have the latest version of Windows in order to fix this problem. So to update Windows, you're going to have to click on the start menu and then click on the settings icon and this window will pop up. Just scroll down and go to update and security. And here in the Windows update tab, you'll see that Windows will automatically check for updates and will let you install them when you're ready. The next step would be to make sure that you have the latest version of your Windows driver to see that you're going to have to use a program that is called driver updater you're going to have the download link for this program in the description down below just install it from there and you'll see that the program will search for the latest drivers will let you select the drivers that you want to update or install and then you're going to have to click on update all if neither updating Windows or updating drivers worked for you, I recommend you to reset your PC. In Windows 10, if you want to reset your PC, you can choose to keep your files and this way you will only lose your programs and the settings that you have on those programs. To reset your PC, you're going to have to click on the start menu and then click again on the settings icon. In this window, you're going to have to search for reset and in the drop down, you're going to have to click on reset this PC. You're going to have to go to the reset this PC section. Just click on get started. In this new window, you're going to have to choose an option. You can either keep your files or remove everything. I'm going to recommend you to keep your files because this way you won't have to back up your files or anything like that. You're just going to lose the apps and your settings from those apps. After you click on keep my files, Windows will search for the programs that will be uninstalled and then will let you reset the PC. Practically, this means your Windows will be reinstalled but you're going to be able to keep your files. You're going to have to click on reset, the windows will restart and in about 10 or 15 minutes, windows will reset and you're going to have a fresh install of windows. So I'm hoping this video helps you and you manage to solve the problem. If not, don't forget that in the description down below, you'll have an article which has many more solutions to this problem. So don't forget to check that out. So this was the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated it so you won't miss any future uploads also don't forget to leave a comment down below with problems that you have on your windows operating system and we can try to solve your issue in the next video until next time have a nice day